Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about SNMP and using it with StealthWatch. There's a reason that you would want to configure this, and if we go over to Monitor and then Interfaces, it'll become really clear once I kind of point this out to you. So by default, um, it looks at the utilization of uh, interface based on the NetFlow that's going through the interface. But the problem is that with just NetFlow, you don't know, StealthWatch doesn't know how fast the interface is. So by default, you can, you'll can you notice that everything is configured for one gig. So for example, on my uh, 3650s, there's some built-in uh, 10 gig ports. And if I go over to the to those ports on, uh, on StealthWatch, you'll notice that they're all one gig. Um, there's no way to like, in this case, there you know all those uh, inputs showing how much what the maximum uh, utilization is or the current utilization are going to be thrown completely off. So th the important thing is to set up uh, SNMP inside of StealthWatch ahead of time to make sure that this uh, works. Um, so you can you can actually pull up the Swing client by going to Desktop Client and it pulls up a uh, Java UI. Um, I don't do as much work in this anymore, but you can see here, it's kind of, you can see that hierarchical tree of uh, host groups. You can s create some custom dashboards in here, but we're gonna kind of ignore that for now um, and go over to the exporters. Now, what we can do is we can configure uh, SNMP per exporter by right-clicking on it and go going to exporter SNMP configuration. And we can configure a specific uh, SNMP uh, community for that exporter, but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and default, uh, configure the default one, and let's go ahead and edit that. So in this case, the default uh, SNMP re read write is the community is set to public. I'm actually going to configure that for my lab one, which is ice cold. Um, you see here, you can configure the port, um, the polling as well. I'm going to bring that down to five minutes so I can pause the video very easily. Um, and you'll notice that you can pick some different MIBs. Um, so probably wondering what are those MIBs? Um, so there's a nice little help menu that you can take a look at and it can kind of go through what that is. Um, so let's go ahead and pull that up really quickly. So the pan OS one is for, if you're, these are Palo Alto devices, exporters, for example. So these are all Cisco switches. We're not gonna really worry about that. So let's go over here. So. IX table, this is when you have things like 10 gig interfaces, you want to enable that. Um, that's a, a recommended setting for 10 gig interfaces. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and set that. And for cat OS, that's if you're using a, a cat OS device, which in this case we're not. So I'm just going to go ahead and configure this and click OK. And this will apply to all my exporters now. I'll probably have to pause the video in order for this uh, to take effect and come back to this after a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now. And we're back. So I just realized while we were configuring this that I don't have any of my 10 gig ports plugged in, so it's not going to show the 10 gig ports. But um, there's one very noticeable change that you'll see from the beginning of this video to now. Um, because we enabled the SNMP configuration um, on StealthWatch, we now have, instead of seeing IF index blah 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 on every single physical interface, I actually now see the gig interface um, name. So, for example, let's go over to switch.75. Um, this is switch one. You see now it's saying gig one, gig five. I can actually like, see that coming in, show, showing now. It's pretty good information. Um, and of course the IF in indexes, this is probably my, my uh, VLAN interfaces. So with that, it gives, gives you a little bit more information and it's a little easier to see, um, more human readable to try to figure out what the interface is as opposed to the IF in interface. If any of these ports were, uh, were 10 gig or anything different than one gig, it would also show the correct speed as well. So it would show the, the utilization is correct. Um, in this case, it's just not showing it. Be, and you can see the gaps that there's certain interfaces that are not showing any NetFlow data. Um, the reason being is it's only going to show the interfaces popping up that there's any sort of flow that we've seen at any time at all. If it's not plugged in, it's never been plugged in since we configured this, it's not going to show here. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but I did want to point that out because it's something that there's just not a lot of documentation on, but it makes it a lot more human readable if you configure this, uh, you know, when you first set up StealthWatch. 
And thank you for tuning in and looking forward to the next video.